guys, I figured it was about time to give you guys an update while I have time to give you guys an update. So here's what's been going on with me. This is my Royal Blue Tank, as you guys know. Um, you guys have seen this tank before, and um, this tank, not really much has changed. I try to keep it as trimmed as possible, so um, the frog bit will grow like and cover the entire tank within like a week. So that's really the only thing I maintain. Look at these guys up here, enjoying that leaf. But um, otherwise, I kind of just let the moss grow out. You know, they kind of like it like that and they cling to it and the babies hide in it. So not much really going on with this tank other than they're still growing and um, doing shrimp things. And here is my PRL tank. As always, this tank does the best for me as far as breeding. I sold off a ton of these guys um, right before the summer started and this tank is already full of babies. And here they are, having a nice little piece of stinging nettle. This has been dried and boiled before putting into the tank just to kind of sterilize it. But I got these from um, another shrimp hobbyist, Steve. Um, who brought them over last time and my shrimp just love it. Look at these guys go. And this tank is pretty much my coal tank at this point. Um, these are kind of my lower grade Bloody Marys. Ooh, see what I mean? When I was talking about in my last video how they get like super scared. These, these guys are the only ones. But these are my, um, my coals, my Bloody Mary coals. And they're all, I mean, they're still pretty red, but they're not as red as I would like them to be. So they're in this tank. Oh my gosh, is this guy dead? Oh no. No, he just is really still. And this is my Taiwan B tank. This tank, um, ever since I changed out the substrate, has been breeding like crazy. I have moss everywhere for the babies and they're feasting on some food right now. But seriously, I have like babies everywhere in this tank. So I've got some, you know, shadow pandas, some red wines, some pandas. I have a few blue bolts, a few red bolts. Um, I also added some tigers. What were they? They're not tigers. They are tibbies, I think, in this tank. I'm trying to get low enough to get a picture of these guys. I have a few buried females in here still, um, two of them. I think three of them. That red wine in the back was buried, that one, right there. But I guess she has already hatched her eggs, so should be seeing more babies in here soon. But look at this. This is just a few of the babies. They're like everywhere in this tank. And they're so cute. They're just so little and so cute. But yeah, I'm gonna let this tank grow out a little bit and then um, hopefully start some selective breeding once I get a good colony going. And this is my Savage Red Tank. I got these from Lindsay Savage a while ago. She um, was a shrimp hobbyist and she's been working on this line for about four years. And um, this is one of the lines I got from her before she, um, she exited the hobby. So these guys are pretty rare because she's, she's worked really, really hard on them and not very many people actually have um, some of her shrimp. So I'm one of the very lucky few who do. And they're just super red. I have a lot of babies from the first couple batches. They're a little bit bigger, like these guys. They're a little bit bigger. And then I also have like really little, little babies, like this guy, all over the tank. And I think I have one female in here that is still buried. So I'm waiting for her eggs to hatch. She's somewhere in this tank. Out of the 12 I got from her, I think, yeah, out of the 12 I got from her, four survived. It was three females and a male. And I've just been really disheartened with this tank just because of all the deaths. 
but now they're starting to bounce back so I feel really really good about it I've just let everything grow out kind of like a jungle that's really that's really how they like it it's just um, a lot of surface area to crawl on and and hide in so unless this you know gets super out of hand I'll trim it back but I'm just gonna probably keep it like this for a little while and dun -da -da, here is my Bloody Mary tank um, my new Bloody Mary tank that I selected from the best of the best of the best Bloody Marys in the other tank which is my current coal tank and these guys got put in about a week ago. They are doing really well, adjusting really well. They're eating fine and they are very active. Um, one thing that happened though, after, I noticed this after I put the shrimp in, is that the tank was like infested with Hydra and I only noticed because the filter was like full of it. And I didn't think to check before just because like I'd never had Hydra before, never thought to like, you know, look for it and I had you know dipped previous plants but ended up with like a lot of plants just melting away and not making it which still did happen in this tank but um, some of these plants I didn't even think of like washing other than rinsing it under hot water or not hot water uh, rinsing under tap water and that was a newbie mistake on my part I should have dipped them just to make sure that there weren't any parasites like Hydra um, that were, you know, uh, coming along with them. And fortunately, I bought some fenbenazole on Amazon that got shipped out pretty fast. And if you guys want to know the dosage I used for the tank, I'll put it in the description below. But yeah, these guys, I was super afraid just because, you know, I had a few buried females in here. They're about to drop their babies and the Hydra would have had a field day like serious field day with those babies. So um, I treated the tank and within like 48 hours, a lot of them were already like shriveled up or dying or falling off of like the side of the tank or the filter where they were clinging onto. And then the shrimp would like eat them. So treatment was really, really uh, successful. The shrimp, there were no ill effects to them. As you can see, they're all still very lively and well and grazing and doing their own thing um but yeah this is like day four i guess of treatment and you can barely you don't i can't see any hydra in here anymore um the little specks that you see like on the filter and on the wall or on the glass are limpet snails and fenbenazole is supposed to be like fatal to snails. So I don't know how these guys are multiplying in here or surviving, but I did move my Nerit snail to another tank just in case. But yeah, this is the new tank um, for the Bloody Marys. I love the way it looks. Um, it came out perfectly the way I wanted it to. And I'm really excited to see where this tank is gonna go. And that's it for now. So what comes next? I am probably going to be doing a how-to video on how to keep shrimp, um, what parameters I keep mine at, what I feed them, etc. I'm also going to be doing a Q&A with um, Loop Diesel. He is another shrimp hobbyist on YouTube. He's really big, so if you guys have been searching for shrimp stuff on YouTube, I'm sure you guys have seen him. He's also really big in the shrimp community. So we're gonna be doing a Q&A together, which should be up sometime soon. And then I'm also thinking about doing another giveaway. I just have to figure out what I want to give away, what the conditions are, all that good stuff. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them below. And as always, if you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. He's so confused. What the heck, Remy? Sit down with mama. Come lay down. Down. Can you?